Roll up in my burrado Macam wa orang nua Spit that sick shit Dirty flow like it's manua The back of your commuter Throwing through wire yes, so wa Double X line line Then no West is do wa do wa Belum cuba belum tahu man Fuck your flow oh, Lay lay face up I'm kicking Taekwondo What is this? I don't know. Someone kept flying at me. We got up early the next day to see the elephants, but unfortunately we didn't realise it was one of their days off. Instead, we decided to explore Tangahan and say hello to all the cows. We bumped into some locals who invited us to have tea with them, so we sat and talked about ecotourism and the welfare of the elephants over tea and fruit. Jungle Bob explained that the elephants in Tangahan had been brought from areas where they had been problematic to the local population. They had been given a comfortable space in Tangahan where they now contribute to the local ecotourism. Me and Harrison have figured out that no matter where we stay, it's so much better to buy the local food because it's cheaper and it always tastes so much better. I agree very much so. Any downside is there's a dog behind us that um, is really injured and covered in flies and it's kind of gross to have it standing around behind you when you're trying to eat. Exactly. And then we have this one as well. This ain't happening, I'm afraid. No. Going elephant washing. I'm 
matches in his mouth. So greedy. <laughs> How was your elephant experience? <laughs> so we've just done the elephant washing and it was amazing. The only thing was there was a lot of people there. There was probably about 15, 20 other people there. But generally I, I thought it was quite good because there was about um there was about ten elephants, so you got plenty of time to interact with the elephants. It was only like two people per elephant. And they were treated really well. I think that was the main thing. They seemed really happy and the trainers seemed to know what they were doing. And it made the whole experience so much more enjoyable knowing that. And the elephants were well looked after. Yeah. Kankahan as a whole has been a really, really nice place to chill out for a few days. I don't think personally I would need more than two or three days here just because uh, Aside from the elephant trekking, uh, we've just kind of chilled and relaxed. I know you can actually do uh, jungle treks and uh, tubing and stuff here, um, but obviously we just did a jungle trek in a uh, bucket of Wang. Would recommend to a friend. Elephants here are cool, and they've got big tails. And they're cute. So today we take a car back to Madan, where we'll be spending two days and three nights, purely because we've run out of money and we can't afford to stay here anymore. This is a pan mat from the palm tree, which is a plague on Indonesia because about 90% of Indonesia is covered in these fucking trees and the trees are used to make cosmetics and I think things like chocolate but literally all of the jungle here is gone. Why are they following us? <laughs> 